So um, findings from our recent Capital Confidence Barometer, the 12th edition that recently launched, we found that at the kind of macro level, the top level in terms of big picture affecting corporate strategy from our MENA respondents, Middle East and North Africa, is the global marketplace and global rebalancing, where 56% of our respondents stated that this was you know, informing, guiding and having an impact on the strategies that they set. An example of that recently is kind of at the government level and the financial services level, where in Qatar, recently um, they set up, just a month ago, the Chinese Yuan Exchange um, Clearing Hub, which basically means it will facilitate the transition that we're seeing in global rebalancing and the shift of economic progress from west to east. So the Chinese Yuan link means basically that as we're seeing more trade flow towards Asia Pacific, the Middle East is perfectly placed in the middle of the action. And with something like this clearing hub, it basically paves the way for smoother transactions and uh, better facilitation of the capital, the trade, the people and the asset flows coming through the Middle East region. So our Middle East and North Africa respondents in our Capital Confidence Barometer also stated, 69% of them, which is quite a high number, that the deal market would remain stable over the next 12 months. Now, that might sound a little bit kind of cautionary or pessimistic, but really we're seeing a, a slight swing downgrade from improving or growing to stability, which is still um, a healthy signal and a good barometer. In addition to that, 56% of our respondents also stated that they have um, clearly an agenda to grow their deal pipeline, actively looking for additional deals that they want to be working on the buy side or sell side within the MENA market. In terms of sectors, retail consumer products, construction, real estate still re remains help relatively buoyant, although we have seen some consolidation there. But in the retail consumer products place, from a domestic perspective, there's a lot of activity. Um, from an outbound perspective, what we're actually seeing is the sovereign wealth funds are still being pretty bullish. We haven't seen much change, regardless of a low oil price, in terms of their outbound um, deal objectives. With a weaker euro and a weaker pound, and pegged to the dollar, means that countries like the UAE and Saudi Arabia can really capitalize on some fair value assets still in the key markets of Europe, Western Europe and perhaps further afield to the United States. So sovereign wealth funds are still kind of heavily active in the market but we do expect to see hopefully an uptick in inbound deal flow as uh, markets like Egypt and the North African belt start to show more stability over time.